Newsdesk.com News Desk, bringing you all the best news of this week. I'm XV, filling in for Peter Van, who's trapped in the closet. And I'm JD Church, who couldn't fit in the closet. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I've got nothing for you. I don't know. <laughs> How you doing? I'm good. Slow news week. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Uh, let's jump right into it. For your high-end statuary needs, Big Bad Toy Story is currently taking pre-orders for statues of Movie Optimus Prime and Bumblebee. These statues feature various interchangeable parts, LED eyes, and rubber tires. These statues by Caliber are big and heavy and are priced accordingly, at $1,200 for Bumblebee and $1,400 for Optimus. I'm sorry, uh, was that in statues, yen? These statues are limited to 500 pieces <laughs> each. Yeah, no, the $1,200 and $1,400. American each. dollars? Good lord. <laughs> Well, uh, the Bumblebee statue is 14 inches tall, and the Optimus is 20 inches, and they weigh quite a lot. Wow. Who is going to buy this? Well, I've never really been into the statue thing myself, but, I mean, you remember people liked the hard hero stuff way back when. Yeah, but those were like $60. Well, this is true. This is this is a lot of money in a down economy. But, but, but these have LED eyes. Yeah. Um, cool and all. I guess that's. I guess that's great. Like when you have your buddies over, you're like, look, 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 the eyes light up, and they're like, cool. Yeah, so anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and then you cry because you're like, I spent fourteen hundred dollars on that. Be amazed. Well, if you if you look at the bright side of it. In two or three years, they'll probably be marked down to, like, 500 each. <laughs> yeah, this is true, yeah. So if you just wait, if you're just patient, you could maybe get one cheaper. So, cool. Yeah. Uh, just in from Kmart.com is images of two new Transformers Rescue Bots toys, Medix the Dockbot and Hoist the Towbot. While both toys are currently not available for purchase from Kmart's website, they're expected to be released soon. Um, there's been some concerns about the $12 price point Rescue Bots toys due to very low availability and some stories even removing their shelf space altogether. Uh, but these two new figures may help reassure fans that Rescue Bots toys are not going anywhere yet. Except you can't find Blades or the Dozer Chains one. Yeah. Or... And, God. you know, if you go some places, you can't even find Optimus or Bumblebee. Well, you can, I mean, I've got plenty of Optimus and not I mean, I guess there's a few Optimus, but not as many Bumblebee here. But yeah, the distribution on it's been oh, very bizarre. Eventually. Yeah, I mean, uh, the Walmart here has removed the shelf space for the $12 price point rescue bots. Um, there's not even the bigger non-transforming ones around anymore. Yeah. So I'm not really sure what's going on with that. I know they're all over the place here, but I don't think th I think that's because they're not selling. So. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's really weird, too. I mean, the Rescue Bots cartoon seems to be doing well enough. Mm -hmm. and, and there's not really a shortage of the little human character figures, but the actual Transformers are just so hard to come by. Yeah. yeah. I don't really know what's up with that. It's bizarre. But, you know, I mean, hopefully this will this will uh, show a resurgence of those toys coming out as we get closer to the holiday this year. Hope so. Yeah, and that would make more sense, I guess. Uh, yeah, probably. Uh, the figure subscription service pre-order period has now closed, but before it did, the Transformers Collectors Club tweeted an image of Ultraman as holding the included Matrix accessory, which can now be seen to be chrome, much like the original Big Convoy's Energon Matrix. Uh, the caption also indicates that this is intended to be the Beast Wars body for G1 Ultra Magnus. Yeah, um, that's, I mean, I don't care. I mean, that doesn't <laughs> bother me, but apparently it bothered some people. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, some people have the thought, and I don't necessarily disagree that, you know, new characters are better. And, yeah, and that's kind of, that's been the thing. It's I mean, that, and that's been a particular thing out of Beast Wars, is, like, there have only been very few sort of G1 characters recycled, like Ravage, you know, that's really come out Grimlock. of it. Or Grimlock. Or Grimlock, yeah. But, um, so, you know, to bring Ultra Magnus in, uh, seems, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Cheap. Cheap, uh, I think, is the word I'm looking I, for. I'm not saying derivative, but, you um, know, same thing. Yeah, it seems kind of like a cop-out. Like, oh, yeah, this is, and this is Ultra Magnus. Like, really? That's what you came up with? 
I mean, you know. I remember a time when BotCon toys, especially BotCon toys, were all new characters. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And now it's almost like there's no new characters. Um, well, I mean, what can you remember is the last like, really new character to come out of BotCon fiction? Or toys, I guess, more specifically. Um, the the land shark from 2009? That's... Yeah, I guess. Because everything there's a pre-existing land shark, it completely escapes me. <laughs> yeah, I guess so, yeah. Wow. I mean, yeah. it, and there's so much more potential. I mean, you can go with a variation on the traditional lore, like he's Primal's brother, or, you know, something. There's there's plenty of other lore derivatives that they could have pulled from instead of just saying, oh yeah, it's the original G1 Ultra Magnus. What? And even the name similarity does not have to tie it together because Optimus Primal and Megatron both make that example perfectly. Yeah. I mean, it could just be somebody else in the same vein as that. Well, and the fact that he has a Matrix, I think, would even be better if it was like he was, like, in more in the vein of, like, Transformer, like, animated, where it's like he's the general, like, he's a, a maximal general, mm -hmm. you know. But, like, that would be interesting or something, but. Yeah, whatever. I agree. It doesn't matter. People are, like, climbing all over themselves because they want this figure, so, you know. Yeah, I mean, what it's going to come down to is. If you want to be a new character, it's going to be a new character when you put it on your shelf. Right. It Nobody's doesn't... attached to the official designations that strongly. Yeah, I'm not that worried about it. So. Nobody needs to be. It still looks cool, but of course I've already sold mine. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> oh, well. Well, it, it's a neat idea, but I'm not that strong on it. <laughs> you didn't want to chill out, you know, the $300 for the whole set to get that one? Not particularly. Yeah, okay. And, you know, I'm buying a slipstream from uh, someone else, and... Uh, so you're covered. You got what you want. Yeah, I think so. Cool. Uh, finally, from actoys.net, the third-party group Fans Want It has posted a teaser image of a jetpack backpack add-on for Revenge of the Fallen leader Optimus. Uh, while obscured in silhouette, the shapes are pretty clearly indicative of jet fire parts, and can be speculated to function similarly to the long-since-canceled set of a Voyager Prime with Jetfire armor that transformed into a trailer from Takara Tomy. Uh, details of the release or projected pricing have yet to be announced. So this is for the leader. Yeah. That you could already combine with Jetfire. Right. So is that kind of pointless? Well, it's like, a third-party product. Well, wouldn't it be... Well, okay, fair enough. But I'm just kind of saying it's like... I wouldn't it be cheaper just to get a jet fire? Or wouldn't it be more sensible to make a product that combines with a Voyager? Yeah, or the Voy or anything like the Voyager or the Deluxe or something, you know, like you know, something that didn't have that at all. Right. Yeah, I think I guess somebody predicts the demand for jet fire parts that don't turn into an actual jet fire, so it's like, you know, movie accurate. Jet fire has ripped his spark out, fallen to pieces, and Optimus is wearing his corpse. Right. Accurately. Accurately. Yes, you get the more accurate version. I don't know. I just think it would have sold better, like you said, if it was a Voyager or something. I think more people probably got the Voyager than got the leader. You know, well, just because of like the price point. point. Out, there is more of a call for that to exist. Yeah, because it's like, if I bought the leader, I probably bought the jet fire because I wanted to combine them. So now I'm just going to have this jet fire if I combine it with that to sit on the shelf, whereas I could buy those parts for the Voyager and it would make sense. But What this does for me is really remind me of that Unite for the Universe toy that got canceled mm -hmm. where the part did form the rocket trailer thing, which while by itself was ridiculous, I like the thought of, okay, so they took jet fire's pieces didn't, and made it into a thing that Optimus could pull around behind him for convenience. Didn't we get that, though? Like, wasn't that available on Amazon or something? No. I thought it was. Okay. Uh, no, on Amazon, they have the uh, Year of the Snake something something Dark the Moon Prime. Oh, with with the, the trailer Prime. But I thought, they had, I thought they had the Jet one as well, but I may be mistaken. So. No, the, the Jetfire armor one... That was the Voyager toy, and that never actually was released. It was canceled well before its release date. Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't know what I'm remembering. Oh, well. Yeah. Well, 
I, I guess, you know, uh, Amazon's doing, they got the one with the trailer, I think, and then they're also doing the the uh, Jetwing one. The je- that's the one it is. That's what I'm thinking of. Okay. Yeah, I mean, both of those are Darker the Moon based toys, though. Right. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And, you know, by Darker the Moon, he had traded in his Jetfire corpse for... Uh, Other jet parts. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, was, I was going to uh, make a Gundam reference to what it looked like, but that's kind of outside our audience. Yeah, that probably wouldn't read. Yeah. Good work, though. I mean, at least on the catch. <laughs> yeah. You know. I, I try to be a little self-aware. Sure. Good job. Well, that's, uh, that's our news for this week. Uh, So stay tuned for the next Transformers News Desk, where hopefully we will have more to talk about than this. (laughs) If we're lucky.